Late Friday afternoon at Hawkins Field in Nashville, Tennessee. Game number four of the 2021 season for the Vanderbilt baseball team is the start of a four-game series against the Georgia State Panthers. Georgia State's lineup all right-handed as Kalen Puckett steps in and takes a high fastball from Thomas Schultz. That ball in the outside corner. Got that one, a fastball up in the zone and just couldn't even pull the trigger. And that's, that's the two pitch. Called strike three. Didn't work outside, tried the inside. And Thomas Schultz goes three up, three down. Hit balls and he hunts early and counts too. Told you. Second collegiate hit for Jack Polger after he got his first on Wednesday. I was gonna say we could probably put some money on that to see if he swings for. Pushes the bunt towards first, Marejo off the bag and it works out as a sacrifice. When you're trying to make those pitches, you occasionally will. I got him at second. Wow. Jack Bolger, late reaction. And a big out for Georgia State. That was a heck of a pick play. Yeah. He had Watson. This is a no-look pick play, so he's looking at the play you can see here. And then he has to rely on the catcher to drop his mid or give some sort of signal to know that the second baseman is going to be covering that bag. And definitely. Popped up, playable out in right field for Dalton Pearson. Makes the catch. Single on the first pitch, and then nothing good from there for the Vandy boys. We attack Tennessee, Florida, Kentucky, and Clemson. So tough schedule, but that's kind of what Coach Stromdahl wants. Play some good competition. Rise locally and, and stay within the city. That one sneaks through Romero, and Marejo takes second. Hard towards the first baseman, Keegan. Colwick over, successful sacrifice, and they got him a third with one out. Line to right center. Bradfield makes the call. Should be deep enough to get the run in, and Bradfield won't test it. one nothing Georgia State. Just the third run Vandy has allowed all season. And yeah, that's the frustrating part as a pitcher. I mean, you try and get that pitch in the outside corner, you don't get, you don't get it. So then you gotta go a little bit further in. The fastball, you know, it's right down the gut. Georgia State does a good job getting it elevated. Definitely deep enough. Georgia State draws first blood. Schultz comes back and gets the strikeout, but he leaves this top of the second inning, trailing one in the 12-1 win. Ball four. It's that same low and outside corner spot. Phil Con Full count pitch. Up the middle, and it finds turf into the outfield. Colwick gets to third as he was going on the 3-2. And Vandy's got first and third with two down. College career. Into right field for an RBI single. Bradfield keeps on hitting, and Vanderbilt ties the game. And that's what you love out of a freshman young hitter. Gets up there, says, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and go to work. Gets a good fastball, outside corner, pulls it right in the four hole, and gets an RBI. He's been playing on fire the past week. Bradfield, a speedster for Vanderbilt. We've seen the line drive. Off the screws to third, Puckett handles it and gets the force 10 the inning. No. The pitcher, they don't waste a lot of time in between pitches. 3-2 heater misses well up. Schultz with one down. Lined into right field for another Georgia State hit. Thomas holds a boot at second. And there's two on with one out in a tie game. Dug out, but I don't think many of them are taking that option. Grounder up the middle, Colwick well positioned. One out at second, and an easy double play. Schultz strands a pair with a 4 3 twin killing. Like some of these young guys. There's ball four, and well, three of them are in the lineup today. Keegan's at first, Bolger, who is naturally a catcher. See what he does, 0 2. Line to left, fair ball into the corner. Smith has to dig it out. Romero stops at third. And they're two in scoring position with two down. 
Dom Keegan has reached base in six straight plate appearances with four extra base hits. Yeah, and that was another missed spot there by Watson. I think it's supposed to be a changeup down, but you not want to leave those changeups up over the plate. Keegan does a really good job of keeping that ball fair. He keeps his hands inside. Ropes it right down the left field corner. This is one of the zone here. Got him strike three. Fire me up, Ryan Watson. Georgia State is playing basically the end of the system for yeah. all of it. This one lined up the middle for a base hit. And with Schultz, he's kind of the first guy to be the second generation of a big number. Rip to left field. Bolger goes back off the highest part of the monster. Georgia State takes a 2-1 lead, and it's an RBI double for Tanner Gallman. a great piece of hitting there by Gallman. That dugout's fired up. The fastball is starting to run in on the hands, really just dropped the barrel. Only missed a home run by about a couple feet. Georgia State's jacked up. Dalton Pearson going into home plate with style. We may have a review of the play at second as Colwick got the tag on the right ankle. That's a close play for second base umpire Stephen Hagen. Ball four. Back to the bucket ahead, 2-0. Hard grounder, Colwick has it to second for one out. Young to first, double play. Nick Maldonado comes on and does the job. Tate Colwick starts a tough double play. There's a full count pitch. Missed in. That's been a ball all day. Yep. Yeah. Long to Keegan and Bradfield. That one nearly hit Dom in the head. It's ball four. First, Red Jones to Enrique Bradfield. Called strike three. Breaking ball on the outside, and Cameron Jones gets it done out of the pan. Another 2 2. Breaking ball, hit into shallow center for a base hit. Dalton Pearson, a sack fly, a single, a steal, a run scored, and now a one-out knock in the seventh. Do some donuts to break it up. Runner going, throw from Romero. Did he get the tag down? He overslid, and that's an out. Not sure if he tagged him on the first trip through, but he definitely got him on the back end. Pitch to try and, you know, try and yank out of here. It's ball four. Lead off walk for Jason Gonzalez and the top of the order is next for Vandy. Tying row two. Out to right, Pearson comes in and it lands. They got to play at second here and he misses the throw. Bloop single for Jack Bolger and Vandy's got the tying and go ahead run aboard with nobody out in the seventh. Young shows bunt, sacrifices back to the pitcher. Jones doesn't throw it. They're loaded with nobody out. Yeah. Grounded to third, one at third. They got to tag him at home, and they do. Kalen Puckett starts a killer double play, getting the two lead runners. Nice heads up play there by Puckett. I mean, he was definitely thinking about this beforehand. A nice little chopper. Gets the force out, and then the tag there to Gallman. Eliminates the initial threat. And a huge momentum builder there for Georgia State. Really takes the wind out of the sails of the Commodore. Ball four. Loaded with two down for Tate Colwick. Ready with the 0-1. Soft tapper to third. This is going to stay fair for Puckett. Only play is to first, and he got him easily. Colwick must have thought that hit him in the foot and it was a foul ball. No. I just think he thought it was going to be foul. It didn't look like it bounced a few feet in front of the plate. Colwick just didn't run down to the first base. That's probably the best view we got. Must 3-2. Ball four. Or at low. They will go up. It was a fake. And a throw to second on the delayed steal. Safe. 2-2. Two, two. 
Swing and a miss, strike three. Luke Murphy's thrown two innings this season. He's got six strikeouts. Ball four. Yeah, not what you want if you're Dawson. I mean, you got a guy who hadn't put a ball in play, and you walk him, and now you get down to 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss, runner goes, doesn't matter, innings over. Chandler Dawson with two on Griffin Chaney. Sharp grounder, fair ball into left field. Bolger's got to get it out of the corner, and it'll be an easy double for Griffin Chaney. Georgia State looking for some insurance in the top of the ninth. 3 1 from Smith to left. Bolger drifts back at the monster. Out of here. Wow. Elian Moreo makes it 4 1 Panthers, and Ethan Smith can't believe it. That's what happens with hanging breaking balls. And you thought that Georgia State dugout was loud. They just turned it up a notch. Yeah, that might be the exclamation point. Check it, look at this. Curveball. Ethan Smith said, pop up. Nope. The thing's just going to ride out of here. Curveball up in the zone. Got some good backspin on it. Just kept going, kept going, kept going. Some much needed insurance runs for Georgia State. Getting everybody jacked up. Coming into Nashville, putting up some crooked numbers. This one's lined into center for a base hit. Dalton Pearson, a three for three day. For tree, by the way, we did get clarification after <laughs> debating on Monday. There's a strikeout for Ethan Smith. Vandy needs three to extend this and more. Another full count pitch. Ball four. That's step one, and Jack Bolger passes the baton to Carter Young. Soft tapper behind the mound. Abood charges, safe at first. First and third with one out for Vandy. As they say in baseball, it wasn't pretty, but two bits from Dawson. Grounded off the first baseman's glove. Tough play. And Vandy chugs on. It's 4-2 and the tying runs aboard. The ball has not left the infield this inning. Kind of a defensive swing from Nolan, but nonetheless, right in that four hole. Nice effort by Marejo, first baseman. At least kept it inside the infield. The Commodores just keep pecking away. One, two pitch. Swing and a miss. Gallman holds on for strike three, and the Panthers are an out away. Wow. The one two. Popped up. Playable in center. Rieselman looking into the rain. Somebody got it, <laughs> and Georgia State wins. Vanderbilt falls for the first time this season, and the Panthers pull the upset.